taking on a role in a Broadway show is daunting enough, but playing multiple roles in multiple productions at the same time, whew! It's called repertory when two or more shows are presented in rotation by the same acting company, and it takes very skilled actors to pull it off. How's Emily? Two iconic plays, No Man's Land and Waiting for Godot, showcase the formidable acting chops of veterans Sir Ian McKellen and Sir Patrick Stewart. We are happy. We are happy. What do we do now, now that we're happy? <laughs> we're excited, nervous, a little fearful, I think. What is it going to be like? But Ian and myself come from a background of repertory. In the Royal Shakespeare Company, you might find yourself in four plays in a season and doing those four plays every week. And so we're used to changing and we like it because it's invigorating. You will want to know what I've done to provoke such hatred in my own mother. You pissed yourself. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> There's also a connection between the two plays, and two plays about old men uh, coping with life, remembering the past, and not quite certain of what the future's going to be. But um, it's really the fun of, 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 of being able to see actors uh, doing very different parts uh, close together. While Stuart and McKellen, both Brits and both classically trained, take on 20th century plays, an American actor is tackling a 17th century classic, Macbeth. Well, it certainly was a dream of mine um, to do one of the great Shakespearean roles on a main stage. You know, it's very rare as an American actor that we get the opportunity to perform these plays at this level. You know, you can do them in church basements and you can do them in, you know, at the Shakespeare Festival one summer, you know, but, but to really do it uh, with this kind of cast and not a supporting cast that... I don't know when the last person who played the title role had this kind of support. The demands of Shakespeare are completely different than anything uh, that I've ever done in front of a camera. The old English is, you know, a lot of the, the terms and phrases are outdated to modern day audiences and, and to modern actors as well. So to make sure that you know what you are saying with every single word that comes out of your mouth requires a lot of homework. You see him easily. Fast forward a century or two and you find the Winslow boy. A drama about how a young man's alleged crime tests the boundaries of family loyalty. In this letter, it says you stole a postal order. But I, now, I don't want you to say a word until you've heard what I've got to say. If you did it, you must tell me. I shall be angry with you, Ronnie, provided you tell me the truth. I recognize the characters. It's beautiful language. It's very purposeful. It's meaningful. And um, the characters are also beautifully drawn. She's kind of indie. And for a uniquely American story, the lighthearted musical First Date, about the things people do to find true love. Oh, you're the other half of the first date. Oh, he's already here. He is. How is he? Because my sister said he may, in fact, be the man of my dreams. She did? <laughs> so the characters in First Date may be looking for love, but there are other Broadway couples who have found it both on stage and off. Case in point, real-life marrieds Daniel Craig and Rachel Weiss portray husband and wife in the drama Betrayal. But they're not the only ones playing house on stage. We're so proud of Lewis. Aren't we, dear? Yeah, I don't know about that. Terrence Mann and Charlotte Dambois are quite convincing as king and queen in the hit musical Pippin. I've somehow overdrawn my allowance account. Oh, you're overdrawn again? Maybe because they happen to be one of Broadway's real-life royal couples. There's a comfort zone. You know, you walk out there and you see somebody that you know because they're both in the business. And it just, you feel like you're, you know, walking into your house and saying, hi, honey, except yeah. I'm throwing knives at her. All in keeping with the show's circus theme. The knife throwing's pretty good. Knife throwing's fun. Yeah, and I love, I love the thought of friends out there watching <laughs> that come to the show that have no idea, and then they see him throwing knives at me. I find that very amusing. When you let me in... Terry and Charlotte met in 1983 in the Broadway musical Cats. Thirty years later, they're juggling family, fame, and being in a Tony Award winning show. 
it's incredible that one of us, that it happens to one of us, but that we both got asked to be in it and play husband and wife. It just, when does that ever happen? Yeah, and that you're even right for yeah. two roles in the same show. Right, right. It's like never happens. Yeah. Another Broadway couple whose work schedules conveniently coincide. Danny Burstein, currently in The Snow Geese, is married to Rebecca Luker, now playing the fairy godmother in Cinderella. The best part is that you're you're on the same schedule, which is great, uh, and it's wonderful when we're, which happened several times in the past where we've both been working at the same time, and uh, the the worst part is you're both exhausted when you do see each other. And she flies in the show too, yeah, which is which I want her to do at home, but she never does. Good for them. That's a lot of talent for one house. Coming up, the return of Mary Louise Parker and Billy Crystal. It was scary. We thought the Russians were the enemy. They thought we were the enemy, and we both were wrong. It's the French.